Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today bringing you a video for our Modern Warfare 3 weapon conversion series. Today we have the Bass B or the XM7 converting that into the NG LVAW, the next generation light visibility, low visibility assault weapon. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll show you guys how to build this thing. If you guys are fans from the channel for a while here, you remember the LVAW, low visibility assault weapon from Modern Warfare 2019 being one of my favorite weapons. Here's our final design here in Modern Warfare 3 for the NG LVAW, next generation low visibility assault weapon. Let's go ahead, we'll back out, build this thing up. I'll show you how it handles in the firing range and we'll jump into some live multiplayer gameplay here where I had a pretty good game, 28 and 11 I believe it was with this thing. So at base you're gonna want the battle rifles, the Bass B or the Sig Spear or the XM7. Go ahead and select that. I think you unlock this right away at level four when you get the Created class, otherwise it's somewhere under top 10, the first 10 classes, somewhere around maybe level 7 or something. You see our XM7 here available, the the Sig Spear, so we did a conversion video on that. If you guys want to check that out, go ahead and look on the channel for our Modern Warfare 3 conversion playlist. We'll have that one. And here's the NG LVAW. So we'll go ahead and select at base the Bass B. Jump into the gunsmith here. First options you're going to want for the barrel option. So at base, we have a 13-inch barrel. So what we're going to want to do here, you can see the different barrel sizes. We're going to go ahead and want the, see, all the way down to a 9-inch barrel. You also have an 8-inch barrel here. We're going to want the Crippling Malice Light Barrel. This is going to give us that short barrel with the suppressor. You can see here this barrel uses lightweight material and premium construction to increase mobility, handling, and accuracy. So this is going to be a short barrel variant with a suppressor um, fitted over the barrel inside the handguard. So probably looking at around an 8 or a 9-inch barrel with this one compared to the, the 9 here and the 8 here. So it's going to be somewhere around an 8 to a 9-inch barrel with the suppressor fitted over the barrel into the handguard, just like the, LV, the LVAW from the MCX series. So again, it'll give us undetectable wire radar, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking speed. For the pros, cons are gun kick and bullet velocity and range. So you can see how the stats affected there. You, you're gaining a lot in mobility and ergo. Losing out on the range and a little bit of recoil, but nothing bad, specifically how you, or especially how you want to use this weapon. We'll skip the laser. For the optic, typically with an LVAW, you would want to use maybe a maybe a regular one times to one and a half times optically an EOTech. For this one, because of the caliber that this thing fires, still firing that 6.8 by 51 millimeter, we're gonna want you know the velocity behind those rounds, pack a big punch. We're gonna at least want the option for long range. And you'll see how that comes into play in the gameplay. So we're gonna go with the Leopold Hammer. If you guys remember the LVAW builds from Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone, this is the one we always use. 4.3 magnification with that top amount of delta. Yeah, the cons are a very small sniper glint, no tack stance, aim down sight speed, and aim walking speed. We'll go ahead and select the Leopold Hammer or the hybrid fire point. Next up for the stock option, the base stock, always a good one, but we're gonna go for the LVAW um, classic look. We're gonna go with the Flash V8 light stock. Gonna give us aim, walking speed, hip fire, attack stance spread, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed with the cons being gun kick, fire aim stability, and aim idle sway. So you're losing, um, you're, you're gaining more four more percent on gun kick, but your your gains there, your pros are definitely outweigh that. So we'll go ahead and select that, especially because we don't need to be engaging long range with this. Skip out on the grip. Magazine at base, we have a 20, we have a 30. We're gonna want the 45 round magazine to complete the LVAW look. 45 round mag, that's gonna be a double stack of the 6.8 by 51. Skip out on the ammo and for the underbarrel, we're gonna go ahead and use the Magpul vertical foregrip or the Op X9 foregrip here in game. It's gonna give us the aim walking steadiness, hip fire spread, tax stance spread, recoil control, Cons being aim down sight speed and movement speed. So we'll select that. And then for the final option, we're going to want the camo. Instead of the base tan that the XM7 comes in, we're going to go ahead and want make it all black to complete the LVAW look, nicknamed Black Mamba in real life. So here is our final design, the NG LVAW for the 6.8 by 51 millimeter, the next generation low visibility assault weapon. Now specifically the LVAW of the MCX series Fires either 556 five, by 45 NATO or 300 Blackout. Now, if you guys are familiar with a lot of the videos I've done, 300 Blackout is essentially the cousin of the Russian 762 by 39 millimeter. So here you're firing a 6.8 by 51. So it's definitely comparable size wise. Uh, however, the, you know the proprietary round here um, packs a lot more velocity 
um, as a lighter round than the 300 Blackout, if I'm remembering correctly. So here's our weapon. Again, it is based on the XM7 platform. So you have ambidextrous fire controls on the left and the right-hand side for the fire selection, bolt release, um, and magazine release. And then you have the uh, ejection port on the right-hand side. You have the forward assist on the right-hand side. You have a rear ambidextrous charging handle here on the back, similar to a Raptor charging handle. And then you have the left-hand charging handle on the left-hand side of the weapon. So they added two, <laughs> you know, for whatever reason, just so obviously coming from the A, this is going to replace the M4, uh, M16 series. So everyone's used to having this rear charging handle. So that's an option. Then you obviously, um, they have the, the original design that the XM7 had was the charging handle on the left-hand side. So they kept that, added the rear charging handle. Good to go. You have um, full-length M-Lock handguard with a full-length pick rail on top. Now, the handguard you see is M-Lock. Like I said, you have Picatinny rails on this one, on the uh, 3 o'clock and the 6 o'clock, and then obviously the full-length pick on the 12 o'clock already. And then you have open M-Lock here on the uh, left-hand si side of the weapon. So this is our NG LVAW, next-generation low-visibility vis assault weapon. Let's go ahead, jump into the firing range with this weapon. Do the weapon inspect here. Just a beautiful weapon. Gonna hit that forward assist. Very nice. Let's see how it handles here in the range. Hit this long target. Now, the recoil pattern on this, you're gonna see when I engage that long target again, I'll just keep firing. You're gonna get a little bit of horizontal left, right, left, right combo. So, really, you're probably gonna want, you know, for Warzone builds. You know, see it right there, just going all over the place. You're going to want to do something about that with grip-wise for the horizontal. Here's the recoil. This is my second time recording this because the first time I recorded it, there was no audio and the video was all choppy. So, thankfully, the gameplay wasn't affected earlier on. But here's the recoil pattern. So, this is with the red dot. This is with the not controlling with the uh, Zoom 4.3. And then we have controlling with the red dot. So, let's do it one more time. I'll let this thing rip. You can see you're going to get some heavy left, right, left, right there, um, which is going to be exacerbated at range. Let's try and control it. You can see there's the right kick, left kick at the very end. So you're going to mitigate that recoil using the delta point here, but you're still going to get right. There's the right, right again. So it's going to be a little bit of horizontal bounce. But other than that, it's like straight vertical. So... Really, you put a some horizontal recoil devices on this, like a uh, grip, and you're good to go. Especially with this top amount of red dot, it's relatively easy to control, honestly. Even at those longer ranges, and you'll see it in the gameplay. Um, it's not not that bad, you know. You're typically not going to be engaging like this unless you're mounted, and if you're mounted, very easy. You really don't get as much of recoil. Easy to hit your target in that case. So that's what that's there for. Otherwise, you're going to see me typically using the top mounted red dot. Let's go ahead and back out and take a look at the camouflage just really quick for this weapon. You have the base camos for mastery, all pretty ugly, honestly. Um, orange sand's not terrible. I'm, I can see how that would be okay on some weapons, maybe. The zombie camos, again, nothing special here. I think forest sands um, looks, looks okay. And again, that would look good on some weapons, not this one. So for this one, we're going to go with the typical, typical black. The good thing is you have so many camos in this game that it doesn't really matter how, how the base camos for this weapon look. Let's go ahead and jump in. We're playing 10v10 Mosh Pit here um, for multiplayer against actual players. This time I had some time to jump in and get that gameplay. So you'll see we're just playing with this exactly how you would. It's a, it, we have a short barrel suppressed weapon here um, with a large caliber, and we're using it um, as a low vis visibility assault weapon. So we're, we're assaulting with low visibility, <laughs> and uh, it works out beautifully. So this is a really nice weapon. I'm a big fan of this NGLVAW build here. And again, unfortunately, the integrated suppressed barrel is not available on the M13B or C for Modern Warfare 2 yet. Hopefully, that's something they may add um, down the road. I think that'd be really cool if they added at least the M13C. So we get a uh, an, o an OG LVAW um, would be really nice. But here with the NG LVAW, um, I'll definitely take that as well. So the original LVAW is based on the SIG MCX platform. Um, which is essentially the M13 from Modern Warfare 2019 and the M13B from here in Modern Warfare 2. Um, and those carried into Modern Warfare 3. So the SIG MCX uh, was the first iteration of the MCX SIG MCX platform. And out of that, one of the variants was the LVAW. So the LVAW 
Um, low visibility assault weapon was the short barrel suppressed select fire variant variant of the weapon available to only uh, law enforcement and military. You saw a lot of uh, Navy SEALs, U.S. SOCOM operators with this, Delta Force, things like that. Green, Green Berets would, would operate with this thing, the 300 Blackout typically. Um, nicknamed the Black Mamba because obviously, you know, painted black, Black Mamba, just a very fitting name with this weapon. Very, very nice weapon. They obviously had later iterations from the Virtus platform as well as Rattler type builds. The MCX Rattler was a, a more uh, a next iteration of the MCX and the MCX Virtus series, barring both 300 Blackout and 556. Um, and that was, um, that was adopted by US SOCOM uh, for a special operations weapon as well. Um, and the 556 and 300 Blackout. So you've seen this thing operate all over the place here. Now with a new iteration, of the XM7, which is the winner of the NGSW Next Generation Squad Weapon Program, the NGSWR for the rifle program to replace the M4, M16 platform of weapons. This was won by Sig Sauer for that program in 2022. So the design took place in 2019, um, right around the time when the NGSW program started. Again, manufacturer is Sig Sauer. So for the XM7, the mass of the weapon is gonna be 8.38 pounds, with a proprietary suppressor gonna be 9.84 pounds. Now here, with an eight to a nine inch barrel, we're looking most likely somewhere in the six to seven pound range um, with this weapon. Again, dependent on barrel weight, length, suppressor weight and length, things like that, as well as stock options. The length overall um, of the weapon with the suppressor for the base XM7 is 36 inches. So here you take probably around three to four inches off that. Um, and with the stock option, you're probably looking anywhere from 32 to 30 inches overall for the weapon. The length of the barrel for the XM7 is 13 inches. Like we discussed here, it's going to be somewhere in the 8 to 9 inch range um, with this weapon with the suppressor fitting over the end, the end of the barrel and into the handguard and then extended a little bit past. The cartridge is going to be the 6.8 by 51 millimeter or the 277 Fury. Um, the action is a short stroke gas operated operation, excuse me, short stroke gas operated piston rotating bolt with a muzzle velocity of 950 meters per second or 3,002 feet per second. Here, with the barrel length being shorter, it's going to be less than that, obviously, but you're still, the round itself is going to pack um, a lot of power behind it. So you're still going to get a lot of good use out of the round for the muzzle velocity of the weapon. The feed system is going to be a 20 or 25 round SR25 pattern box mag here. So this is the NG LVS, LVAW low visibility, next generation low visibility assault weapon. Let me know your thoughts down below this weapon. Again, a little bit of a shame we didn't get a proper <coughs> OG LVAW for the M13B or C. However, here we have it as the NG LVAW, the next generation low visibility assault weapon. Let me know your thoughts down below of this weapon. Have you tried this yet? What do you think of it? This is a really one of my favorite conversions, I think. And you'll see the gameplay here, obviously, in the background. It's proving why it's very effective in multiplayer. And it's going to be a lot of fun to use in Warzone with some tweaks, which I already have a pretty nice build for Warzone that I'm excited to show you guys in two weeks. Let me know your thoughts down below. Best way to support the channel is like the video, subscribe to the channel. Best way to support small channels like myself, share, watching the ads. That's where all the revenue for the channel typically comes from. We also have memberships live on the channel if you guys want to join up. We have three different tiers. You get some perks. Some added perks are coming down the road. Um, once we start a lot, once Warzone rolls out, we'll be starting a regular live stream program. We'll be doing member-only live streams, things like that. Um, all donations, everything like that goes back to the channel. If you guys are members of the Discord, you would have seen a little bit of some range stuff I put up there today for a range day. So ideally down the road, I'd like to do more of that. Um, up the Just film that on my phone. So up in the quality, things like that down the road would be really, really nice. So everything like that is going to go back to the channel um, and expand expand what we do here at Buffner Gaming. So let me know your thoughts down below. This is the next generation LVAW or the NG LVAW in the 6.8 by 51 millimeter. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out. Effective fire.
Chasing Mac. We can go to objective. Enemy securing Bravo. Objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. Securing objective Charlie. Enemy UAV active. Sniper's down. Holding! <laughs> 